you know, having three separate cases for all three of these games, it's just, it, it wastes so much space. I only have so much shelf space, you know? Uh, if only there was a release that put all three of these games into one disc. Oh my god. So this is the Hyper Dimension Neptunia Hyper Collection. This was a release that only came out in Europe. Don't know why. There's like no information on this release anywhere on the internet. This was a thing that this America just kind of did back then. They would take like three of their titles and just like put them into a collection. The, the only other example I have is that they did this with this Gaia and that one was available in America. But the, the, again, this particular Neptunia collection only available in Europe. That's not in Japan. It's not America. And this technically would be considered the rarest Neptunia thing to exist. Because not only was a very limited release, uh, finding it secondhand is non-existent. Because the one I have in my hand right now was the only available listing on eBay at the time. That goes to show you just how rare this piece of shit is. Nah, I shouldn't call it a piece of shit. I mean, what does it include exactly? Well, it's the first three Neptunia PS3 games, all into one little disc. You put the disc into the PS3, and there's all three games right there. You can just you can just boot them up like that. No installation needed. It's, they're just ready to go. But um, the problem I have with this release is that none of the DLC is included. Which, if you guys know, then you know. All the PS3 Neptunia games have $100 worth of DLC. I have some of the DLC. I don't have all of the DLC because, goddamn, like I said, it's over $100 worth of fucking DLC. So it would have been nice if there was a release that came out, you know, years after the DLC has already been finished and the disc included all of that. It's a shame this release does not have that. It's just such a weird release, because why would they release this in Europe, but not in America? It, was Neptunia just more marketable in Europe than it was in America? It, it, it's confusing. It is an interesting piece of Neptunia media that not a lot of people might even know about, because, you know, a lot of Neptunia fans nowadays get exposed to it through the anime or the remakes. A lot of people are vaguely familiar with the PS3 releases because they are the least accessible Neptunia games. So the fact that there was this really niche uh, collection of all three into one that was only released in one part of the world makes sense why nobody would know this thing even exists. And I don't know why it exists. There's no DLC included. There's no extra features or anything. It is just the European versions of Neptunia all in one disc. I'm sure when it first released, it was a good money saver because you're getting three games for the price of one. I'm sure. I hope it was like that. I I I really hope it was just like sixty bucks or whatever sixty dollars equates to whatever part of Europe this released in. <laughs> but yeah, it's just a uh, interesting release. Interesting release. Um, too bad it sent me back like a hundred and twenty dollars, and I'm never making this money back ever again. So I mean, like and subscribe, I guess.